How you doing? This is Mark Tremonti, and you're listening to the Blog of Rock podcast. Hallo, willkommen bei The Block of Rock, deinem Hard Rock und Heavy Metal Podcast Musikmagazin. Ich bin Uwe Lerch und ich nehme dich Backstage mit zu den Rockstars. Natürlich quatschen wir über die Musik, die uns alle verbindet, über neue Platten, über Livepläne und was früher so war. Aber wir sprechen auch über die Menschen dahinter, was hat sie inspiriert und motiviert und welche Rockstar-Tipps haben sie für dich da draußen. In den Show Notes, das ist die Beschreibung zu dieser Episode, über die du das hier gerade hörst, findest du einen zentralen Link für alle weiteren Informationen, der dich aber auch in meine offizielle Facebook-Gruppe führt. Ich würde mich freuen, wenn wir uns hier kennenlernen. Bist du nun am Start? Na dann komm doch mit! In der heutigen Episode gibt es musikalisch endlich mal wieder was auf die Mütze, denn ich habe gleich Mark Tremonti, den Gitarristen von Alter Bridge, aber auch Creed am Rohr. Während beide Bands gerade Pause haben, ist er mit seinem Solo-Act Tremonti auf der Spur und hat bereits vor zwei Monaten mit Margin and Time ein fettes Brett abgeliefert. Ich erwischte ihn on the road im Hotelzimmer. Sperrt die Lausche auf. How you doing? Hello. How's it going? Hello, Mark. Where do I pick you up? It looks like a hotel room. I'm in a hotel room in Niagara Falls. So how is the weather over there? It's beautiful. Beautiful day. You're on tour at the moment, so things are rolling for Tremonti. Yeah, this is our second tour since since the, the lockdowns. So yeah, we're, we're glad to be back on the road. I've seen you doing a great package over there. Yeah, you know, it's been uh, it's been quite a night. You know, we're we're on a we're on tour right now with four bands, so it's uh, you know it's a it's a big tour. So who's playing with you? We have Travis Brock. Uh, um, us, Seven Dust, and Daughtry. Perfect. I would like to be there. So how big are the venues? Uh, they're theaters, you know, anywhere from 1,500 to 4,000 seats, I think. Awesome. Good to be back on the road, I assume. Absolutely. So you've had the busy year. We had several releases. First release was your little baby girl. And yes. of course, a new album. So how has it been with your little princess? Oh, it's the best thing in the world. You know, she's eight months now and uh, she's got a smile on her face at all times. And uh, this that's the hardest thing about what I'm doing now is being away from her. It's, it's uh, thank God for FaceTime. <laughs> of course, that's good. Um, Uh, it's the first daughter as I've heard. Yeah, I've got two boys and one daughter, but my boys are old. I got, you know, 16 and tw uh, 16 and turning 13 uh, this month. Um, so it's a big age gap. Do you often feel the lyrics of with arms wide open when you hold her in your arms? That was so long ago, you know, that was that was such a, you know, it's actually um, I wrote a song on this record that had to do with becoming a father during a pandemic. It was the title track, uh, Marching in Time. So that was kind of her inspiration on this record. We're going to talk about this, of course, now, which because Marching in Time was the other big release of Tremoni this year. So it's a great album. It's been very well received in Germany as well. Nice. That's, that's great to hear. How did you record the album during the pandemic? Uh, you know, we had all the time in the world, you know, during the pandemic, there were no deadlines. You know, we had no idea what was going on. I didn't know if I was going to go back out with Alter Bridge on tour or if I was going to do Tremoni next or what. And finally, my manager said, you know, it's been too long between records on for Alter Bridge. So let's switch gears and get in the studio with Tremoni. And, and Miles got in the studio with his with his solo act and uh we just hit the ground running i had more time than ever before on a tremani album to give uh give every song its fair shake at, at every possibility it could go through. So we we dotted every I, crossed every T on this record. So you kept on writing, 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 and whatever suits to your solo band came in this one and some maybe some tracks are left for the next Alter Bridge? Yeah, you never know. You know, it's the only the only time that uh, one song won't fit another band is if it's too much of a speed metal kind of thing. I keep that to Tremonti. <laughs> Do you have it already in mind when you start working on a song or is it something which comes after? Um, well, whenever I'm You know, as soon as I stopped recording Walk the Sky, I hit the ground running writing for the next Tremonti record. So um, I'm always focused on the next specific band, but that, that doesn't mean that there's not some bleed through. So on, on this record, there's a song called Under the Sun that I intended to be on the last Alter Bridge record, but it, we just didn't have time. So you kept it for your own project. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> This time you didn't do a, a concept album. 
So it just went on as it was floating. Yeah, you know, I'm um, I'm rewriting the Dying Machine novel for a second time, and um, we've got some some interest from a publishing house. So we're very very excited about. Well, I'm very excited about um, becoming a published author. Think you know you know which would be amazing. So I'm rewriting the story now. Um, I should know in the next couple months if that's going to be uh, rewritten. And I didn't want to write another concept record until I knew where this, you know, if this book was going to live on or not. So um, we'll see. So this is something which is missing on your bucket list. You have all the golden records at home, lots of stuff. And but being a published art, a writer is something which is left on your list. That is a huge bucket list thing for me. I'm, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely something that I would be very, very excited about and uh like i said fingers crossed i'll know very soon so the album was really well received received in germany i was really surprised i think it was uh number 13 in german charts for solo records of course alter bridge and even the bands you've been in before uh has been huge in germany but for solo records was a big success so seems you have a great crowd over here absolutely you know europe Europe in general is, is is keeping this band alive, keeping both Alter Bridge and Tremonti alive. You know, it's uh, it's such a thriving place for for rock and roll music and heavy metal and rock and roll. It's it's uh, I think the whole world of rock and roll owes you know a big debt to 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 European crowds. Is a big difference between the the target groups? You have you played in in the U.S. big festivals. You played in Europe big festivals like of course Rock am Ring and Wacken and so on. So what's the big difference between the audience? I think mainly European audiences are. Or, um, they like they're more open-minded across the board. You'll go to see a festival and they'll they'll appreciate Slayer and they'll appreciate you know Alice in Chains. You know, whereas you know in in the states sometimes people will just want one genre and not not be open-minded to both. Uh, I think you know one thing that's happened since this pandemic is now that people go to see these shows, I think they are more open-minded in general across the globe because everybody's happy just to get back out and see shows again. So hopefully that's the one uh, silver lining in, uh, in, in what happened. Of course, we are all hungry for rock. You're lucky that you can uh, go on tour in the US at the moment and in Europe, it doesn't look so positive, but let's keep fingers crossed. You're coming over to Europe. Yeah, we're coming over in January. So, um, you know, hopefully everybody gets things under control and, and, uh, Because we're we've already got everything planned. We're ready to go. We're, we're getting our bags packed. So you know, hopefully everything stays calm over there, and, and everybody keeps things under control. That's what we're working here with uh, our new government. Of course, everybody needs to get somehow vaccinated, wearing masks, and so on. But people, of course, are really willing to go back to the clubs to see some live shows. And what could we expect? Of course, will it be will it be? Of course, it will be a Tremonti focused show. So there will be no tracks from the other bands, I assume. Yeah, just Tremonti stuff. You know, we're gonna we're gonna just start playing as many of the new songs as we can right right now so far in the states we've been playing uh support support roles and um our, our sets have been you know an hour long so when we come over there it's going to be you know an hour and a half or longer so it's we got to get get back into full length uh shape and uh start introducing some new songs and um We're excited for it. Is it difficult for you to go back to this kind of support role? No, it's actually really easy. You know, it's it's the easiest thing to do is, um, you know, as a singer, your voice can only handle so much every night if you sing like like I do. I, I'm not a trained singer. I don't I don't uh, I can't sing for hours and hours. I, I sometimes I have to scream like a caveman to hit notes. So my my voice doesn't last two hours. So um, it usually takes me a good week to get that voice to last a, a good hour and a half of pushing it the way I do. So um, the support roles are pretty easy when it comes to, to that. <laughs> um, the new album, Marching on Time, was also released, of course, on vinyl. And it seems that it's, you know, vinyl is getting bigger, bigger, bigger over there. Even me, I was restarting my vinyl collection just during the pandemic. I just had a few of them, but now I'm keep on buying back the vinyl old stuff new stuff how about you do you have a special recommended place at your home to to listen to vinyl i do i um i have a studio in my house my wife bought me a uh, a record player last christmas and um yeah so i'm setting it up in my i haven't actually got it hooked up i've got a pa in my studio because that's kind of my live room for for rehearsals and uh i'm just gonna hook up that record player through my pa and and kind of have that be my my little vibe room so this will be done when you come back uh, from From tour taking care of your little princess of, of the rest of the family and getting your record player plugged in yeah you know she loves going into the studio so she'll she'll sit there and enjoy it with me but she's not walking already no she can't even crawl she's she uh she won't she can't even sit up yet she falls you gotta hold her by the waist <laughs> Let's talk about the rest of the family. There's another band, Alter Bridge. So what's the status in here? Miles is busy at the moment with his stuff. Uh, I just listened today on the radio. 
the new Slash song uh, he put out. So how is he doing? He's also being on tour on the US. Oh, uh, Miles is great. Yeah, they, they've been on, uh, I think, two tours now, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I just spoke to him last week and he's he's doing great. He's spending, he, um, you know, when he's off tour, he likes to just find peace and he goes and sits by the lake and uh, near his home and, and um, relaxes, you know. So he's, this is a different thing for Miles. You know, this, um, ever since I've known Miles, me and him have been very, very, very busy touring. And uh, between Alter Bridge slash um, his solo project, he hasn't had much time to sit down and enjoy his, his uh, spare time. So when I talk to him now, um, he just seems like he's relaxed, you know. We're usually when we talk back in the day, we're, we're fast talkers. We want to get things done. We want to get songs written. We want to get records out. Now it's just kind of just uh i think he's peaceful these days when you did you guys get back together working on the new elder bridge after your tour in europe yeah well we might actually get together um before our tour in europe just to put some ideas together because we're going into the studio in april um april and may so we've got to be ready to go by uh well before that so as you're busy i assume there's no time left for creed for the moment uh not right now you know we um you know i've you know like i said i'm touring right up until we go into the studio in april and may after we get out of the studio in May, I go back out with Tremonti, hit all the big festivals in Europe and in the States and as many shows as we can hit before, I think, November of next year when Alter Bridge goes back on tour for the first time. And I think we start in Europe. And, um, you know, we've already started booking venues over there because you have to you have to book venues so far out nowadays. After this pandemic, everybody wants to get back out there. So you've got to reserve these rooms, you know, a year and a half in advance. So we're, we're already planning that next Alter Bridge tour. Good to hear. That's great. But I've heard Dave, that you're also working on a another project which has got to do with charity and with helping other people so this is something i would really like to spend the last minutes of our time to talk about this project because are we always like love musicians who do also good things for other people yeah you know this is about the most exciting project i've ever worked on in my life and um i've uh you know i'm raising money for down syndrome my daughter has down syndrome and um, i'm starting a foundation called take a chance for charity that i'm going to challenge other musicians actors athletes whoever has a platform to do something that nobody would ever see coming uh, and um, do it for fun and to raise money for charity. And it, and it can be anybody's charity um, that they choose. And it could be a song, it could be a painting, it could be a poem, whatever it is. But uh, the project I worked on, I did an entire record and it's uh, it's top secret what it is, but um, I couldn't be more excited about it. Everybody I've played it for, um, it, the response has been tremendous. So it's it's something I, it's going to be really hard for me to sit on it. We're going to announce it March 21st. Uh, okay. That's na National uh, Down Syndrome Award. Awareness Day in the United States. So that's when we're going to make the big announcement. And um, I'm going to try and recruit as many people as I can to, to uh, follow my lead and try to raise some money. Will it be kind of an auction thing? Uh, no, we'll just put the record out for sale. And, and from the very first record sale, every penny goes to charity. We've got a kind, kind hearted guy who, who raised all the money to pay for the rest of all, of all the recording and the marketing. And so no money has to go back into any costs for the first record sold. It goes straight to charity. So you're looking also for other artists to campaign this campaign? Yes, yes. And they can they can do anything they want. Um, they can pick any charity they want. It's just got to be, you know, under the name, you know, take a chance for charity. And it's, uh, you know, in a perfect world, we get as many uh, d diversified acts as we can. You know, I'd like to get I'd like to get a death metal band singing a Bob Marley song, whatever it is, whatever, you know, catches people by surprise. Yeah, as many artists as possible, you know, as many as, as many diverse acts as we can get on board. You know, it's uh, I, 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 I don't want to raise a million dollars. I want to raise a hundred million dollars in the name of, of take a chance for charity and and uh it'll be great to actually show the rock you know show the world what the rock world of can course do to... when you are on tour uh there are some special packages available we need to talk about this yeah um well we do um i don't know what's going to be available when we get over there but usually usually we do a meet and greet package now in the states our meet and greets are different you know people come and they see the sound check and we take a group picture but um you know with all the covid protocols and everything you know we can't do the shake hands you know, we, we pre-sign our autographs and take a group picture with us on stage and, and the fans in front of us. But I usually do guitar clinics, you know, and um, I, I try to teach people how I write songs and how I play guitar as best I can. And, and uh, I do that every show day. So hopefully I can do that when we get over there. But um, if fingers crossed that, that that can happen because it hasn't been able to happen here in the States yet. So uh, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed, of course. Thank you very much. Have a Thank nice you. day in Niagara Falls. I love the city. You're, you're on the U.S. side, not on the Canadian side. Yeah, the U.S. side.
You've been to the falls today? I have not. I'm, I'm going to head over there in a little bit. I'm going to grab some lunch and head over there. To the mate of the mist. That's right. <laughs> Where even Mary Monroe did this, uh, he did her movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. And it's a beautiful day out. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All the best to you. Thanks for taking the time, Mark. See you in Thank January. You. And I'll take care of your charity foundation. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Bye. Bye-bye. Hierzu gibt es leider noch einen traurigen Nachtrag. Nur wenige Tage nach diesem Gespräch wurde die eben angesprochene US-Tour leider abgebrochen, da die 25-jährige Stieftochter von Daughtry-Fronter Chris Daughtry auf bisher nicht übermittelte Weise plötzlich verstorben ist. Einige Newsportale haben sogar von Mord berichtet. Hoffen wir mal, dass die geplante Eurotour von Tremonti unter einem besseren Stern steht. Und wenn ich mir die aktuelle Corona-Lage so ansehe, kann man schon seine Zweifel haben. Achtet also auf die Nachrichten zu diesen Shows. <lacht> Wenn dir diese Episode gefallen hat, folge mir doch gerne beim Podcast-Dealer deines Vertrauens, damit du auch die nächste Folge nicht verpasst. Du bekommst die ganze Staffel als kostenloses Abo unter anderem bei Spotify, Apple Podcast, Amazon Music, Deezer, Soundcloud, YouTube, dem Podcast-Portal von Google oder natürlich über meine Homepage theblockofrock.com. Höre dir dort auch die bereits veröffentlichten Stories an, denn jede Woche gibt es hier neues Futter. Und vor allem... Erzähl es deinen Freunden und teile die frohe Kunde auf Social Media. Alles klar? Dann hören wir uns ja wieder beim nächsten Mal. Bis dahin, keep on rocking!